Karibu kupitia Voice Kita TV kuwa wa kwanza kila siku kufikiwa na taarifa pamoja na ripoti mbalimbali za kimichezo za hapa nyumbani Tanzania na, na, na nje ya mipaka pale inapotokea kwa kusubscribe asante kwa wewe ambao umeshafanya hivyo ni kukaribishe ili uweze kufahamu mwendelezo wa kimichezo kwa siku hii ya leo langu jina ni Jessica Chebiala karibu na siku hii ya leo tunaanza kimichezo zaidi kama ilivyo kawaida yetu sisi voice kita ndiyo habari ya mjini Jerimuro aliyekuwa ofisa habari wa timu ya Yanga Thamani ambaye kwa sasa ni mkuu wa wilaya ya Rumeru amesema kuwa anaamini klabu ya Yanga bado ina nafasi ya kutoa ubingwa wa ligi kuu bara Amuru amesema kuwa walikuwa kimya kwa muda mrefu na sasa wameamua kufanya kazi kwa ushirikiano ili kufikia malengo yao. Yanga ipo nafasi ya nne kwenye msimamo wa ligi kuu bara ikiwa na pointi ya na moja imecheza mechi 22 na kinara wa ligi ni Simba Sports Club pointi 62 na, na michezo mechi 24. Na Namno kuu Jerry Muro ambaye alikuwa ni msemaji wa klabu ya Yanga zamani lakini kwa sasa ni mkuu wa wilaya ya Rumeru mkoa ni Arusha. Tumekuwa kimya kwa muda mrefu kwa sasa tunarudi na kazi ya kwanza imeanzia kwenye mchezo wetu dhidi ya Gwambina. Baada ya kumalizana na hao hesabu zetu ni kuona tunatoa ubingwa wa ligi kuu bara. Kila kitu kinawezekana kwani kwa sasa hatukuwa na sari tena kwani kwa sasa hatutakuwa na sari tena zaidi ya ushindi kutokana kupata namba za kubonyeza yani password ya wale ambao wanatubeza watashangaa kuona namna tunavyopenya kwenye mambo wasiotarajia. Ani maneno yake Jerry Muro ambaye alikuwa msemaji wa klabu ya Yanga hapo zamani lakini kwa sasa ni mkuu wa wilaya ya Rumeru mkoa ni Arusha. Pia Steven Van der Breek ambaye ni kocha mkuu wa timu ya Simba Sports Club amesema kwa sasa anatengeneza mfumo mpya utakaomba matokeo chanya kwenye mechi zake anazocheza. Steven ameshinda mechi sita na kupoteza mechi moja alizosimamia mwezi Februari. Mechi nane ana kazi ya kumenyana na timu ya Yanga katika uwanja wa taifa ambapo alilazimisha sare ya kufungana mabao mawili, mabao mawili kwa mawili kwenye mchezo wa kwanza wa mzunguko wa kwanza na timu ya Yanga. Ajana aliyeongoza Simba kushinda mbele ya Stand United kwa kushinda hatua ya 16 bola, kombe la shirikisho kwa penati tatu kwa mbili baada ya dakika tisini kutoshana kwa kufungana aba moja kwa moja. Na mkuu anasema bado kazi ni kubwa ya kufanya, kuna mpango kuboresha mfumo mpya wa kikosi chetu ili kupata matokeo kwenye mechi zetu tutakazocheza. Ani maneno yake kocha mkuu wa timu ya Yanga Steven Van den Breek. Wakati huo huo kocha mkuu wa Yanga Mbergeji Luke Emil amefunguka kuwa licha ya kushindwa kupata matokeo mazuri katika mechi nne mfululizo lakini haiwezi kuwa sababu ya kuwazuia kuwafunga Simba kwenye mchezo wa ligi kuu bara utakaopigwa mechi nane mwaka huu. Yanga imecheza mchezo wao dhidi ya Gwambina katika kombe la shirikisho ambao umepigwa kwenye uwanja wa uhu, wa taifa jijini Dar es Salaam kisha itacheza mechi mbili za ligi kuu bara dhidi ya Alliance na Mbao FC zote za Mwanza kabla ya kuwa Simba. Akizungumza na Champion Luke Emil amekiri timu yake inapitia kipindi kigumu kutokana na matokeo anayopata lakini haiwezi kuwa sababu ya kushindwa kuwafunga Simba kwani ni jambo linalosubiriwa na, ma, na mashabiki wa timu hiyo. Na mnukua anasema bado tupo kwenye presha kubwa kwa sababu ya matokeo ambayo tumekuwa tukiyapata ambayo yanachangiwa na mambo mengi maana inapelekea wachezaji kukosa nguvu ya kuendelea kupambana kwenye mechi zilizo mbele yetu japokuwa katika soka mapambano huwa hayaishi njiani. Na inaendelea kusema tunaendelea kujipanga kwa ajili ya mechi za mbele lakini pia naelewa mashabiki wanaovumia na matokeo tunayoyapata yetu jambo ambalo sio zuri kwa sababu ya presha inakuwa kubwa kuelekea kucheza na Simba ambao wanaongoza ligi ila niwaambie tu kwamba tunaenda kushinda mechi hiyo haijarishi Simba ina ubora gani alisema Luke Emil ambaye ni kocha mkuu wa timu ya Yanga lakini pia Luke Emil anza hesabu za msimu ujao 
anasema ni wazi hesabu za ubingwa wa ligi kuu msimu huu zimepotea baada ya leo tena Yanga kilio cha kocha mkuu wa Yanga Luke Amy ni eneo la safu ya ushambuliaji ambalo linaonekana kusuasua inaelezwa mbeligiji huyo tayari amewasilisha mapendekezo kwa uongozi wa Yanga akitaka aletewe washambuliaji wakali kwa ajili ya msimu ujao ni katika jitihada ya kushughulikia mapungufu ya eneo hilo ambayo yameigalimu Yanga msimu huu ukiangalia Yanga imekuwa ikicheza vizuri lakini haifungi lakini haifungi mabao licha ya kutengeneza nafasi nyingi Imi amesema hapaswi kulaumiwa kutokana na yanayojitokeza kwenye safu yake ya ushambuliaji kwani wachezaji wanafanya vizuri tatizo tu ni nafasi ya ushambuliaji ndiyo inayoangusha ni maneno yake kutoka kwa Luke Emil ambaye ni kocha mkuu wa timu ya Yanga ambaye ameanza hesabu za msimu ujao ili kuhakikisha anafanya vizuri tofauti na sasa ilivyo Kumbuka tu kushare na kusubscribe YouTube channel ya Voice Kita ili kupata habari kimkemu za kimichezo kwani Voice Kita ndiyo habari ya mjini. Kumbuka ni leo kuletea mwendelezo wa habari za kimichezo kwa siku hii ya leo. Langu jina ni Jessica Chibiala. Endelea kuwa nasi Voice Kita kwa sababu ndiyo habari ya mjini. So, uh, the boys did the job and it's the most important thing. I knew how the My opponent will play. I studied them a bit on the footage that I got. Uh, they did a very good game last season against Simba, and uh, they still have uh, experienced players and um, who can play good soccer. They can also, they are clever. They can try to buy time and all these things. But also, unfortunately, I thought that the pace of the game, the rhythm of the game, was not high at all. Um, we try to play sometimes you know to play you have to be three uh, fine, you have to be three you have to be 11 11 and then you have also uh, the three who are officiating you know and it's part of the game and all these things do that you have a nice game or not a nice game but uh, the most important thing for us today is the win and I'm um, very important uh, I'm very happy about that, you know, we know Cup, we have surprise everywhere in the Cup, uh, in all the countries, not only in Tanzania, we can have surprise in all Africa and all in Europe also. Sometimes teams of lower divisions, they, they succeed to beat, they had a good plan, they succeed to beat teams of first league. Question? No, no, not, not yesterday. Uh, me, I don't think uh, it was poor, but it's your your opinion. You are responsible of what you say. Uh, we we travel um, Sunday, yes, during the night, huh? okay, and we just have uh, yeah one training yesterday, if you can say like that. Refreshing. It's difficult, you know. It's a difficult, uh, and then you play. Uh, against an opponent, like I said, who is not here uh, to joke, he's here to, to try to win the game, he has his plan. I study uh, a bit the opponent, uh, like I said, and yeah, most important thing, we score, we could have scored two, three, four, uh, but them also that a chance, Metasha made a brilliant save, um, yeah, it's like that. Like I said, they did the job, is the most important thing. It's not easy, huh? I don't know if you, you, you all watch the, the Premier League in England, yes? During the Boxing Day, the, the, all the coaches are crying because they are playing three games in seven days. Us, we are playing every three days during 45 games. I think you have to understand it's really not easy. And you have to avoid to have injuries. You have to, you have the, like I said last time, traveling fatigue, fitness fatigue, and psychological fatigue. It's, it's three things I never... I have 10 years experience in Africa, okay? And I never had um, to, um, to do with uh, such a situation. So it's new for me also. My fitness coach, who is fitness coach for, from different national teams also, he never faced such a situation. So you have to also to avoid to get, like I say, uh, injuries. It's very important, you know, because if you give two, three uh, major players, then...
it's a big problem for the rest of the league. Okay, coach. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. <coughs> Shiwango wapendo wa Tanzania bwana mnatoa simu zenu nimeshema leza kuongea na kocha wangu eh Ah okay Sio lazima ukate Okay Ah mimi naongea tu mimi sinawajua ni mimi nimenipa mafanikio sana nyewe Ndio usilalie Nisogee Hapa Wananchi wako